So here it is. Look at this absolute beast. Look at the grill on the front of this. It's amazing, trust me. Um, it's got daytime running lights, so really safety driven. Uh, also, we've got this huge windscreen on the front, which is actually brilliant for whilst you're driving along because you get a really good vision down on this. Um, this particular one's on an Iveco. Uh, it's actually got 207 brake horsepower. Uh, it's got an eight speed automatic engine. But let's go around and have a look around the side of it. So this vehicle is absolutely huge. It's got great alloy wheels. It's all double floored. So you've actually got sort of like an underfloor heating on this one. As you move down here, this is the big plus with these. You get so much storage. So underneath here, we've got storage which goes all the way through and out the other side. What this means is you can put things into this from the outside and actually get them from the inside. So you don't have to get wet, which is always a plus. On this particular one, we've got these slide out storage compartments. So you can obviously keep all your bits and bobs in here and then just slide it back in but you've got a huge amount of storage space under there, which is excellent. Obviously, this is the habitation door here. Um, and on the habitation door, you do get a little fob with this and you can actually just touch it on the door, which will unlock the vehicle and then you can gain access. Moving down a little bit further, obviously this is where you plug into your electricity. So if you're at the campsite or you're at home, you just plug it in there and that's how you get your power. And then in the back, this is the big showstopper. This is an absolutely huge garage. Now this particular one has got 450 kilograms of payload. So like the picture suggests, you can get a little scooter in there. Also on this, you have got a bike sort of storage compartment. So you can put your bikes in here and the handlebars just sit underneath this. Now it very cleverly lifts up so you can push this area up and then it drops back down and connects onto the handlebars so it holds your bikes in place, which is actually, I believe, a patented idea from Katago. So at the rear of the motorhome or RV, um, you've got this really nice silver color, which we've actually got all the way around this vehicle. So this one's got the upgraded silver, which I think looks lovely. Um, you've also got the lovely Katago lights, which are shaped in the C for Katago. And then just above my head, just up top there, you'll see that it has got a reversing camera on this as well. One of the big benefits of having the Iveco or the Iveco is that it's a huge towing capacity. So you can have a tow bar on here and tow a little smart car or a little car with you or a trailer or whatever you might need to take. But the payload and the towing capacity on these are brilliant. So other side of the vehicle, other side of the garage. So I will show you. Let's just open this up again. It's huge. I mean, it's absolutely monstrous. And I will put the dimensions of this up on the screen for you. But just to give you an idea, look, <laughs> it's massive. Oh. So yeah, you can keep lots of stuff in there, as you can well imagine. Everything can go in there. Bikes, canoes, blow up tents, motorbikes, everything you want. Even inside there, it's actually got an external shower point. So you've got a, a little shower head. So if you wanted to clean off your motorbike or your bikes or your canoe or anything like that, or even yourself, if you've got sand on yourself, then you can use that, which is a big plus. Um, moving down here, this is where you fill up the fresh water. Um, and it's got huge tanks on this. So you've got a fresh water tank and a wastewater tank. And I'll give you the, the size of those on the screen as well. And then here, this is where your gas lives. So this is a gas locker. This is quite a nice little touch actually. You've got this little bar, pull it out, slides back into place, and then that'll just drop down. So, fantastic. And then here, I'll just pull this out for you. Whoop, if I can get it. There we go. That's your toilet cassette. So you basically pull it out, lift up the little handle. You can wheel that along. So you either take it to a toilet or to the facility at a campsite tip it out and then just pop it back in. So that just slides back down. Reminds me of going on holiday, but different sort of luggage. <laughs> so let's just pop that back in. Um, and then here again, we've got lots and lots of storage, which goes all the way through and out the other side. And again, we've got this fantastic little cubby holes that you can slide out and slide in. So it saves you leaning all the way in the van actually, which is very clever. Now this bit, I know, well, it's me, I guess. It just kind of 
entertains me. But when you open the passenger door or the driver's door, depending on whether you have it on a left-hand drive or a right-hand drive, little step at the bottom just pops out. So very easy just to get in. And of course, when you close it, pops back in as well. Also on the top here, this is your mirrors. And of course you're gonna need these when you're driving a nice big vehicle like this, but these are bus style mirrors and they give you an excellent uh, view. So great visibility of what's going on as you're driving. In fact, I've driven lots and lots of these and they're really easy. A lot of people think that you're gonna be struggling and it seems really big, but actually they're not that wide and they're not that long. You fit very comfortably on the road and you've got great visibility through both the windscreen and the mirrors. But the best bit of all and the bit that I'm excited to show you is actually inside. So let's go in and have a proper look, shall we? So of course, this is the entrance to the habitation. Uh, at the moment, we are at Cartago City, so they've got these steps leading up into it, but you do have an electric step just underneath the habitation door to help you gain entrance. Now, opening it up, above the habitation door, you've got a big LED strip light and that'll keep this area illuminated. And you can have a big canopy or an awning fitted to the side of this as well. Um, as you're going into the vehicle, of course, you've got fly screens to stop those unwanted pests getting inside. And then, here we go guys, let's have a look. I've just switched the camera to give you a first person view of inside this absolute beauty. I feel so privileged actually to be inside here and show you around. It's fantastic. Um, just above the habitation door, got this nice frosted panel and then inside here you've got your control panel. I can just hold that up. You've got your control panel. So this is where you turn on the lights. Uh, you can see the, the levels of your water tanks and things like that. Also, this one's got an inverter and it's got the Aldi heating system. Now, if you don't know what the Aldi system is, it's basically a wet system. So it's a lot like your central heating at home. Look at this. They've even given you a little uh, temperature gauge, the time and also the weather. And uh, today it looks like it's, well, it's in between rain and fair and it's going to change. So that's good news. Um, moving around into the kitchen, see if I can swing this around for you. Let's have a look. There we go. Fantastic kitchen. One of my favorite parts of this kitchen actually is this here, look. So you slide it open. Inside here, you've got some compartments, also two little bins, and it just tucks away so nicely as you close it. And everything in here, and trust me on this, everything feels absolute quality. Um, if you want to see one of these vehicles in person, um, do check out Choose Leisure in Canterbury. And of course, you can have a look on the Catargo website. So www.catargo.com or check out Choose Leisure, www.chooseleisure.co.uk. Um, inside these cupboards, obviously I've just opened that one up. That has got a little coffee making machine. So if you like your coffee, that's perfect. And then big storage cupboard there above the uh, gas. And also another one here. Down below, we've got three gas burners and they're pretty good size as well. And everything feels quality in these, really heavy sort of steel in there. Uh, big sink and also you can pull that out so you can clean everything off with that, which is a nice little touch. And this part here, you can use it as a chopping board, but you can also double that up so you can pop that inside the sink and that will, of course, give you more storage. Um, but look at this. Look at it. It's so nice. Um, nice little touch, actually, this. This little button on and off. If you've got it on like that, the cupboards or the drawers beneath, they'll open. But if you press it again, click locked into place. So whilst you're traveling, none of these are going to sort of come flying open, which is always a bit of a plus. Moving around to the left a bit, we've got a huge fridge freezer. So let's have a look in there. Big, big fridge. And then up top, the freezer box. And it looks like you can actually open these from both sides. So if you're in the living room and you fancy a beer or a glass of wine, you can just grab it out of the fridge here. Um, or if you're in the bedroom at the other end, which I'll show you shortly, you can just open it this way. Um, on the top, we've got a little oven and then moving round. This is the part. Look at that. Honestly, guys, look at the way this is designed. 
it's so, so nice and so comfortable. Imagine how many people you can have sat around this, this sofa, just sort of chilling out. Um, to the left hand side, you'll notice it's got a huge TV and that just electronic, well, basically electrically, you press a little button and that just goes back down behind the sofa. So it tucks out the way. Um, up on the top here, you've got plenty of cupboard space and that follows suit all the way around the vehicle, all the way around the top. So you're never gonna struggle for storage in this. And then at the back, look at this. Imagine inviting your friends round to have a look at your motorhome and you've got like a rolling bar. Look at that, it's so nice, it's beautiful, isn't it? And to top it off, if your friends were coming with you or your family, you've actually got two rear traveling seats. So can you kind of imagine or pitch yourself sat in the back of this, in these two seats, cruising through Italy or Germany or the south of England or wherever you might be, just kind of totally relaxed. I mean, it's like a private jet, isn't it? It's, it's fantastic. Um, it's the rolling Ritz. That's what I'm going to call this one, the rolling Ritz. <laughs> um, just here, this is a recliner seat. So if you don't want to be sat up right, you can actually press a little button here and that, so, that slowly slides out. So you can basically sit back, relax and watch the TV. And guys, honestly, I'm not supposed to say this, but this is actually my favorite mo motorhome on the market at the moment. It's so, so nice. And trust me, Katago have got a lot of brands, a lot of different um, styles and layouts, and they're all fantastic. And if you haven't seen them already, then I'm going to be doing demonstrations of, of pretty much all of those. So do subscribe to the channel and have a good look at those. Right, so moving to the front of the vehicle, it doesn't stop here. It only gets better actually. And um, of course you've got light switches everywhere where you can turn the lights on and off. And that's one thing I didn't say actually as I was filming this. If you have a look at all the LED lights all around this vehicle, you can pretty much control them all individually and turn them up and down so you can set the mood very, very nicely. In this area here, we've got a toilet, shower, and also either two singles or you can use it as a double at the back there. Um, the way it sort of works is that this here, this whole area comes down. So those two front seats fold forwards. That whole bed comes all the way down. Then what you do is you pull these across like this. See if I can do that for you. And then that part goes up, that part goes up and the bed sits flat here. So they make really good use of the cab space in this. And to top it off, if you're in bed, you can just slide this across like that. Oh, I'll just turn the lights off. There we go. You can slide it across. So your bedroom is completely private. Look at that. And <laughs> to top it off even more, you've got this door here, which you can close off as well so you can have a private toilet shower and a private bedroom. So you've basically got three rooms in this vehicle. You've got the living room, the bedroom, the toilet and the shower. Moving around to the shower, massive shower. Basically the sliding door here, that just comes around. So that folds around really nicely. Everything's really smooth on this vehicle. Nothing clangs and bangs. It's, it's really, really well made. And then just up top there, look at that, a rainfall shower. And also round the corner, you've got another shower head as well. You've got some space here to hang your, your, uh, your towels or your dressing gown or whatever you might want to hang in there. And also you've got somewhere to keep your shampoo and things. Round to the left, massive cupboard for hanging all your clothes. And look at the storage in this thing, honestly. If you're wanting to go away for a long period of time and you're wanting to do it in style, then this is the perfect machine for it. So just lock that into place there. So look at the mirror there for getting ready. And then round to the right hand side, electric flush toilet, nice sink, plenty of cupboard space here, Hollywood style lights. And every time you come into this motorhome, you will feel like an absolute star. Trust me, it's um, it's kind of the pinnacle of motorhomes. And um, whilst the bed's down, this is a television which you can actually uh, lower or raise on this. So that's very, very good. 
USB points everywhere. In the bedroom, you've got drawers. So under both sides, you've got drawers. And then this side, again, drawers. And guys, I mean, what do you think? Let me know in the comments below what you think to this beauty. Um, but I think it's absolutely fantastic. So last but not least, the business end of this beast. <laughs> um, let me just show you quickly, actually. Here, you've got this little cupboard which you can pull out, which gives you steps. Now, with these steps, you can basically climb up and hop into bed. So there's no ladders, no big jumps, no big climbs, anything like that. You've got these great little steps which just fold away. They've even given you, inside these steps, a bit of storage. So every inch of this machine or this beast has been used to its full potential. Let's just pop that away. So inside the cab, oh, firstly, I'm just gonna say, the seats are so comfortable. Um, you've got armrest both sides. So you're literally sat here like being sat in a Bentley or a Rolls Royce, trust me, in these seats. So comfortable, really soft leather. And then at the front here, we've got satellite navigation, cab aircon, cruise control, Android Auto, and of course this Iveco not only has got the huge brake horsepower, but it's got the payload and the towing capacity as well. So it's an all rounder this. You've got cup holders at both sides and also down to my left here, there's also a screen for your reversing camera so you can see everything that's going on behind you. Um, but the steering wheel here is a multifunctional steering wheel. So you've got all the controls on here. Feels very substantial as well, really kind of, thick and grippy if you know what I mean by that um, and in the front here you've got pri privacy blinds all the way around so privacy blind along here one that comes down the front and of course the ones that come along the side so you can make this area completely private so guys I hope you've enjoyed this demonstration of the Katago liner for two i53l on the Iveco fantastic motor home this particular model that I've shown you um, has got the super, super package on it. Uh, it's also got the kitchen coffee package, the office and TV package, luxury habitation door package, and lots of other stuff. I mean, there's so much on this vehicle for me to go through. Um, what you'd need to do if you're interested in one of these is find out on the Katago website exactly what specification you want for it and which color materials, which chassis. I mean, you can even have this on a Fiat chassis. You can have it. There's lots of different things that you need to check out. Um, I'm calling this one the Rolling Ritz. <laughs> so this one from now on in the motorhome world needs to be called the Rolling Ritz. Um, also, guys, if you haven't had a look at my channel before, then do check out the channel. Um, I've got lots of videos on there. Not only Katagos, we've got Swifts, Likers, Auto Sleepers, lots and lots of different stuff. However, I am going to be here at Katago City for the next two days, videoing hopefully the majority of their vehicles here. So subscribe, like the videos, let me know in the comments below what you think and follow me on this journey.